Welcome to our tutorial on how to use our cover templates. Here I've downloaded our 5.5 by 8.5 cover template and you'll actually see when you go to the page layout and you go to size this template is actually set up for bleeds so it's 5.75 by 8.75 and we've actually built in some margins about 3 8 of an inch so on all four sides and I'm going to show you how these work so so right here I've got my template and what you want to do first thing is go to view and we've got these grids so click on this grid it'll turn it on and off and this grid right here is where you want to make sure you keep your type inside this or any elements you don't want cut off because right here we've got an eighth of an inch that we're going to trim off and then that's another quarter inch to keep a nice safe area away from the trim so so as you can see here, I've got my book title. Um, I don't have a picture in here yet, but let's go ahead and go insert one. So we go up to insert and we go to picture. And then I'm just gonna choose this cover image and there it is. But I can't move it around because of our margins. So, so that's a problem. But what we can do is this little icon right here, you can click that and then click one of these down here and you want to click this button fix position on page and now I can move this around now we know from the last video that this image was like 7 by 10 and it came in at a smaller size because of the margins so now I'm just going to go ahead and fill the page with it and there we go so there's my front cover but now I've lost that type the type is behind it so what I want to do is you can right click oops, sorry right click right click there we go and what I want to do is I want to send this picture to the back so you can do send to front send to back so I'm gonna say send to back and now here's my book title um, if you want to put like the author's name down here you can right click on this and say copy and then paste and you got another box you can move around so I can move this down here and I could put the author's name in it. So I'll just type author. And of course it's hard to see. So both of these are kind of hard to see. So I will go ahead and select that. And once you do that, I can make it white. I can make it different colors. Um, you know, I can make it all, all sorts of things you can do here, more colors. So I'm just gonna make it white. I'm going to come down here do the same thing with this one and again make it white and then you know if I'm happy with the layout you know the next thing you want to do is make sure that this type is not outside those margin area areas so but it's hard to see the grid with the photo there so all we do is move the photo over and I can see that I'm inside the grid everything looks good and then if you want to move the photo back, just go up here and do the undo button. It'll move it right back, right to where it was. Um, you could add other things in here. There's a lot of great tools in Microsoft Word that you can use. There's all sorts of effects you can apply to your type. Um, so the one nice thing about Microsoft Word is if you just right click on something, it gives you a lot of options. So, you know, if you wanted to put a hyperlink in there, you could. I don't know why you would, but you could. You can format the shape. Um, you know you can fill it so let's fill it with a solid fill and we'll pick you know let's say red you know so there we go so there's all sorts of things you can do here just right click in Microsoft Word you, a tool will pop up you'll be able to use it I suggest play around with this maybe save a couple different things that you like until you come up with something that you're happy with um, but once you've done and you're happy with it, the next step would be to create a good PDF file. So you'll want to go watch our video for that. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We're here to help you. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot.